Hello and welcome. This video is intended to help you get to know the Humane Society of Skagit Valley. Over the course of this video, we will cover who we are, why we're here, what we do, how we're doing, and how you can reach us. So who are we? We are a socially conscious safe haven for abandoned, abused, or unwanted pets in Skagit Valley. We're an open admission facility. This means we do not pick and choose our pets, but instead accept any companion animal who needs our care. We see over 2,500 animals pass through our shelter each year. We provide them all with care, comfort, and medical attention. Even if they have extensive medical needs, we'll provide them with the attention they require. Our mission is to provide a safe haven to shelter and care for the abandoned, abused, or unwanted animals within Skagit County. To treat these animals with dignity and respect. To place these animals into loving and caring homes. To create public education programs that increase the awareness of humane treatment and the necessity of spay and neuter of all animals. And to coordinate resources for housing and placement of small animals evacuated during a disaster. So how did we get here? Well, it all started with a horse in need. Back in 1973, a citizen in the valley discovered a horse that was being neglected. Concerned for its safety, she alerted the police. However, as there were no animal cruelty laws on the books at that time, she was told there was nothing that could be done. The citizen decided that this was simply unacceptable and began to photograph the horse's plight, which she then turned over to local media. The result was an immediate outcry from the public. A group of like-minded animal lovers joined together to form an advocacy group to provide a voice for animals without one of their own. Thus, in August of 1974, the Humane Society of Skagit Valley was registered as a 501c3 nonprofit animal welfare organization. We're still going strong today, reuniting animals with their families, adopting pets to loving homes, significantly impacting the issue of pet overpopulation, and rescuing animals from high kill and in crisis animal shelters across the nation. Along the way, we engage in extensive outreach and seek to educate the public as well as collaborate with great animal welfare organizations like the nationally recognized ASPCA and the Humane Society of the United States. We also partner with local and statewide animal welfare groups in providing lasting and meaningful solutions to the most vulnerable among us. So now let's take a look at the many services provided by HSSV. Some of them might surprise you. Of course, we offer pet adoptions. We try to place every dog, cat, rabbit, bird, and other domestic animal in a good home. We assist potential adopters in selecting the right pet for them through adoption counseling. There is no first come first serve at our shelter, but rather we find the best fit for all involved. Our low adoption fees include microchipping, spay or neutering, vaccines, collar, identification tags, and a complimentary visit with any vet in the valley. We also offer a low income spay and neuter clinic. Pet overpopulation is a very real problem. Every year, millions of cats and dogs are euthanized in our nation's animal shelters because there are more pets than there are responsible homes for them. Until this issue is resolved, HSSB firmly believes that all cats and dogs adopted from public or private animal care and control facilities should be spayed or neutered. However, we know that financial hardship can create a barrier to pet alteration. To that end, we operate a low-income spay and neuter clinic to assist those in our community who want to do the right thing but need a little assistance. A lack of funds should never stand in the way of being a responsible pet owner, so our partnership with several local vets and other agencies enables us to help community members in need to overcome that barrier. We also offer a low-income pet food bank. HSSV collects and distributes pet food donations for pets belonging to low-income community members and families in crisis. Our pet food bank keeps people and pets together and ensures that people who love their animal companions 
don't have to choose between feeding their pets and feeding themselves. Community engagement is a critical component of our mission. We offer guided group tours, public presentations, tabling events, and educational seminars. Our staff and volunteers teach responsible pet ownership and respect for all animals. We emphasize the importance of diminishing pet overpopulation through spaying and neutering. We welcome classes and groups to the shelter to learn more about pet care and animal welfare issues and often venture out to off-site locations to spread the word and educate the public. We offer pet counseling. If a community member needs advice on a pet care issue or needs support in improving their relationship with their family pet, we encourage them to call the shelter for tips or resources. We offer this service to encourage responsible pet ownership and to enable pets to stay in their homes rather than to be surrendered due to behavioral issues that might be easily remedied with just a little expert advice. We offer animal care information. We answer literally hundreds of calls each month about pet care. If we can help the public keep animals healthy and happy, we consider that a success. Additionally, we offer animal assisted therapy. Volunteers provide hours of enjoyment to local nursing home residents by bringing pets from the shelter for a visit. Animal Transport We partner with many great agencies across the United States and, indeed, the world to relocate animals in crisis. Whether that's a shelter flooding in Texas needing to evacuate an entire kennel, wildfires ravaging a California shelter, or a shelter experiencing a high kill rate, we take in as many as possible and set about comforting these traumatized animals and finding them forever homes. We even take in animals from abroad, such as the transport we coordinated in summer of 2019 from Israel. We have a feral cat colony. If you visit us at HSSV, you might notice pet houses and igloos, feeding dishes and watering bowls littered across our property. You'll definitely notice the big red barn. All of this is to support our feral cat colony. In our effort to reduce pet overpopulation, we take in feral cats, ensure their health, spay or neuter them, then release them into our colony for continued care. We even go out in the community and help to trap feral cats when community members are unable to do so themselves. We also have a Barn Buddy program. Our Barn Buddy program is designed for the cat lover who has a barn or other secure outdoor structure and is interested in adopting cats that are not suitable for life inside of a house or are unhappy living inside. Cat temperaments range from feral to friendly. This program is designed to find homes for cats that have traditionally been deemed unadoptable through standard adoption procedures. It is quite popular with farmers in need of good mousers. Of course, we also offer lost and found services. We reunite literally hundreds of pets with their families each year. Members of the community who have lost or found a pet can log their issue with us and we use all the tools at our disposal to bring them home where they belong. HSSV is funded almost entirely by community donations. It is a common misunderstanding in the community that we are a county funded shelter. We do have stray animal boarding contracts with Skagit County and with a number of cities in both Skagit and Snohomish counties, but we are a private, non-profit organization that relies heavily on donations, fundraising, and profits from the sales at our thrift shop to keep our doors open. While we do request grants from charitable foundations, those grants are never guaranteed and there's often a lot of competition for them. Therefore, we count on our members and donors to provide the products and cash it takes to keep the animals fed, sheltered, and medically attended. Besides donations, much of our funding comes from our fundraisers such as the Dog on Walkathon and the Santa Paws and Claws Family Photo Event, as well as many others. We also have a robust volunteer program at HSSV. Our volunteers are the heart and soul of our shelter and they help us keep the doors open and the services flowing out to our great community. 
We have dedicated volunteers who offer their services in kennel care, animal socialization, administrative tasks, and so, so much more. You can visit us online at skagithumane.org forward slash volunteer to learn more and apply today. We process roughly 1,900 to 2,000 adoptions annually through HSSV, and we return roughly 350 to 400 canines and felines to their owners on average annually. We are proud of the difference we are making in the lives of abused, abandoned, and unwanted animals in Skagit County and beyond. Feel free to pause at this page to take a look at how we're doing. It shows things like how many followers we have on Facebook and Instagram, our performance tracking through Google, and our online reach at SkagitHumane.org. These are some of the testimonials we took straight from Google. You can find more by Googling us online. Here are all the ways you can reach us. You can find us in person here or online here. This is our main phone number. You can reach Executive Director Janine Seha at this email address and the Director of Development and Volunteer Management Kimberly Williams at this email address. Our shelter staff can be reached at this address. They are great at answering any questions you might have about HSSV and the services we offer. You can find us on Facebook and on Instagram as well. Thank you for sticking with us throughout this video and learning a little bit more about the Humane Society of Skagit Valley. Please visit our website at skagithumane.org to learn more about our shelter and the many services we provide. Thank you so much for your support. We couldn't make it without you and we hope to see you soon.